Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pentiment. It's been a while. Last week's, uh, last week, my recording schedule was completely off track, but hopefully now we are back. Brother Edoc, how are you? Who is there? It's you, Lord. Come to claim my soul. Ah, yes, I am God. It's Andreas, Brother Edoc. Oh, Andreas. Dear boy. Uh, you don't look so good. I have been better. The escape to the library winded me. I feel aches, a heavy heart, but it will pass if God wills it. Uh, could someone help you, Florian, or... Concern yourself with me, Andreas. The others. Make sure the others are well. They're fine. You're the one who might be dying. If the time has come, Andreas, then it has come. It's in the hands of the Lord. I must rest. Holding on, Brother Edoc. Dude is not well. Unless you undress. Yep, door to the scriptorium is closed. Andreas. You want a gate? Seems like it'd be quite a risk for you to come through the crypt to see us. Shouldn't you be out trying to prove that someone killed Otto? Someone who isn't the abbot. Just because it wasn't the abbot doesn't mean it wasn't one of the monks. Oh, was Ferenc's execution just the beginning? Ah yes, I should have I chose you, okay? Father Gernot always thought this place was going to be brought down by lack of funds. Looks like death by Andrea Smaller is more likely. Did you do anything else? Not right now. And God bless you, Andreas. Till later. Where are you? Andreas Mahler. I heard word you were in Tassin, but you did not come to visit. I'm sorry, Brother Foran. I should have come by earlier. But I'm glad to see you again after all this time. I do not see this as a sensible act. You put yourself at risk sneaking in here. I want to see how you are all holding up. You are not out of danger, if that's what you have in mind. The peasants are on edge, and we are stuck. You fear they truly want more violence. Such, uh, such is the brutal nature of the rustic. Fuck off. Well, you feel they truly want more violence. They may not be trained soldiers, but it does not take much military acumen to burn down a building full of books. If they hurt the abbot or damage the abbey, the two armies will not show leniency. Believe me, a direct confrontation with real soldiers will end in a slaughter. You've said much about the peasants, but what about you and the brothers? I'm well, Andreas. I've been through worse. The Battle of the... Cosman? Yeah, Cosman. The Siege of Dunek Castle. Death and suffering. Too much of that, perhaps, for a young mind. Long enough ago by now. Here. Others who hold my attention. I worry about Volkberg and Rudiger. They are gentle people, not able to withstand this terror and violence. But I'm especially worried about Edoc. Yeah, I tried talking to him, he didn't look good. He is old and frail, and his health has grown worse since we fled here. He remarks of pains of the chest. I'm cut off with my tools, and were it not so, I am unsure of what might help against this affliction. Perhaps Salvia, Salvatrix, or Papaver Somniferum. 
I'm willing to do what I can to help. You're good of heart and dress. Asking Sister Gertrude might be most prudent in this case. She knows the plants better. Best. Be safe, Andres. It was well worth it for you. I'll keep you safe, Master Mother. No, 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 no. Volker, is, it's going to be alright. How can you know that, Lucas? Trust in Providence, brother. The Lord guides us through Gethsemane. They're going to hurt us. They won't. Look, Andres is here. He will help. Yes, but I will help in any way I can. It's all looking better already, Volkert. God has sent us a mediator. I don't want to die. Not going to. We all will. No, 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 please. Volkert, peace and calm. Think of heavenly realms above us. Your angels sing praise our Lord every day. Will I join them if I die? We all joined the choir, uh, one day. But you, you won't die here, Volkert. Listen to Andreas, he'll help us. Stay safe, brothers. I will try to solve this mess before anyone else gets hurt. God bless you. God save us. Ah, poor Volkert. Poor, poor Volkert. God bless you, Andreas. Uh, I am not going to, I'm not going to read what I think is German. Yep, German. Greek, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison. That one I can read. It's actually Latin then. Got some like German first. Uh, it's kind of hard to read in this lettering. Rudiger, what was that song? I think it's an old song from around Tolts, Andreas. I never heard it before. It's generally not a part of any hymnals, but I believe it helps to them. I worry about Brother Rudiger. He has been deep in prayer ever since we fled into the library. All his violence and strife does not conform with his gentle soul. Um, you really care for him, don't you? Yeah, w we know he really cares for him. This kind and thoughtful man. Who wouldn't? Oh. We'll find out who killed Otto, won't you? I have to, there's too much at stake. See, I told you. However, have you noticed the script Rudiger's dialogue is being written on? Seems awfully familiar, doesn't it? Huh. Uh huh. Interesting. But why? Brother Rudiger, why don't you sing for the others to hear? The others? Yes, all your brothers. You're the cantor, yours is the voice that leads them. Cantor, appointed official in the monastery responsible for re leading the chants and songs of the community. I, I, I don't know. 
You could do it. I believe in you, and Matthew believes in you. We all do. Right, I suppose I can try. Yeah, he that's definitely some kind of Yeah, that script is definitely different from the monastic one. Hello bird voice up. You have a moment. Of course, Andreas, what do you need? I was hoping to seek your guidance about who may have killed Otto. I don't know how much I can help you, Andreas. I'm afraid I didn't concern myself too much with Trusting's troubles. Surely you can recall something Otto did that made someone angry? Otto was not always an easy man to get along with. It's, he's clashed with several brothers here over the years. Anything recently? Let me think. Several of the brothers were upset when he demanded Father Gruneau reveal the Abbey's financial records. Uh, Gruneau mentioned Guy did the record keeping for the Abbey. Was he the most upset? Just I shouldn't bring up Abbey concerns to outsiders. Please, Brother Boys, love. Any information you can give me could help stop further violence. I did some Brother Guy rooting around in the abattoir the other day. Yes, I don't need. I know what an abattoir means, I don't need this to tell me it's slaughter. He was startled when I questioned him, but if he was already on edge about Otto's demands, then no wonder. I know what Brother Guy and Otto never got along, but Brother Guy has never been a violent man. He's a coward, and Otto backed him to a corner. Who knows what he could have do, do if pushed. I wonder if there was anything else going on. Please be careful, Andreas. There's already enough strife in Tassif. We don't need any more. I will. Thank you, Brother Voicelot. God bless you, Andreas. Hmm. Investigate the abattoir. Be right back. I hope Brother Idak doesn't die. We also are going to need to check with the sisters, make sure everything is not the way I want it to go. Large garden, thank you. Animal pants, that's the way. Weapons and there's the abattoir.
book? Why would there be a book left out here? It's been left open. Wonder who was reading this. Wonder which work it is. Oh, this looks like a book of exorcism and occultism. Whatever this text was for, it certainly has no place in the Abbey. Hmm, there's a wolf page here. Ah. Otto. Mirel, Otto. Otto's name is in the middle of a summoning circle. But why? Le Bouzon de saint oui ling c'est pour bougie. Uh, it sounds like French, but I have no fucking clue what it says. Okay. Oh, yeah, yada, yada, yada. It sounds like mail. Saints for something? I don't know. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Okay, we have much to discuss. First, I need to go to the nuns so that we can ask them for help with Brother Edoch. Get me to the nunnery, please. Bless you, Master Mother. God bless you, Sister Selfie. It's good to see you again. And you, Master Mother. Arnold looks spectacular. You've taken good care of it. I know it's been some time, Master Mother, but I must remind you of my vows. I cannot speak with, uh, with men. Alright, that's, uh, that's right. Forgive me, Sister. God bless you, Master Mother. God bless you, Master Mauler. God bless you, Sister Mustela. I wanted to thank you, Master Mauler. I didn't recall doing anything worthy of thanks. You understood that despite what happened to me at the hands of the Baron, you did not condemn me. I appreciated that. Uh, the Archdeacon surveyed the evidence and really spoke the truth of the assault. Yes, well, the entire event was a tragedy. I did not expect to see you again. I am glad the Lord gave me a chance to thank you properly. Let's get back to work. God bless you. And you, sister. Sister Margaretta, how are you? God bless you, Master Mahler. Hello, Sister Margareta. After all these years, she still knows, she still recognizes me. Interesting. Sister Gertrude said one of the town folk was killed. What happened? Otto Zimmerman, the town carpenter, was crushed apart by the construction at the Rat House. Oh no. I heard some of the sisters saying it was murder, and the peasants chased the monks into the library. Sisters Denna even said they're Accusing Father Abbott. Is that true, Master Mahler? Uh, yes, but no one knows who killed Otto. I'm trying to find the truth. I pray you do, Master Mahler. Everyone's getting scared. I heard Sister Sophie last night crying. Mother Illuminata said, God will preserve us, but everything just keeps getting worse. Maybe the Lord is pushing the Abbey. It's punishing the Abbey. Why would God want to punish Kirsa, sister? I don't think the Abbot should treat the peasants too harshly, but... I don't know what to, th what to think anymore. Has anything else happened in the convent recently? Well... 
a man ran into me when I was washing my lesson in the herb hut a few days ago. Is that so strange? Yes, even uh, even the joint monastery, the sisters and brothers' quarters are separated. He should have been in the church since it was almost vespers. Do you remember anything about it? I can do my best, even though the hut was dark. I knew it was men because his figure was taller than any of the sisters, and gurned when he bumped me. Could it be one of our suspects, Master? Hmm, perhaps. Do you recognize his voice? No, he didn't say anything, but I felt the texture of one of the habits when he bumped into me. His skin was softer too, and he was knocked back when I when we collided. He grabbed me and moved me out of the way. No beard either. Guy. What would a brother be doing in the herbal hut? I don't know. He startled me, but was in and out of the hut before I could call out. Bang things around too. I think it was one of the younger brothers. The rest aren't light on their feet. I can hear them stumbling around all across the garden. Still leaves a few stars, but Brother Lucas and Brother Guy both fit that description, as does the abbot. Yeah, I don't know much about Brother Lucas, and we're not sure it's the abbot. The abbot has his own house. What would he be doing sticking around the herb, the herb hut? Yes, he just... Yeah, Ferdinand would just order one of the brothers to get something for him anyway. Master Mahler. How cheeky. At least Lucas or Guy. Find me, Master Mahler. Yes, Sister Margreta. Bro and Lucas and I are friends. I don't think he'd hide from me. That leaves Brother Guy. Exactly. Guy is young and fast enough to be in and out of... In and out in a flash. But, Sister Margaret, what has what was he doing here? I don't know, Master Muller. I couldn't tell what he was doing or if he took anything. By the time I realized what happened, Sister Sophie came and got me for supper. Did you tell any of the sisters? I told Sister Gertrude about it. She agreed it was very odd since whoever it was should have been a supper. I'd be able to help you identify which herbs jars he grabbed. You should get her blessing first, though. She's a stickler about her herbs. Would you help me find her? Of course, sister. Sister Gertrude, may I take Master Marlin to the herb hut? We are looking for anything that man might have left behind. I am Mr. Intrude. Why are you so interested, Andreas? Let's see if, if whoever was was it was left anything behind maybe connected to Otto's murder. Very well. I'd prefer you not just open every jar, however. Some of the herbs need to remain sealed. How are we supposed to figure out if, there, if he left anything? I know the jars by sight. If you gently check them, Master Mallor, I should be able to tell you which ones he picked up as I came in. I know he used three of the jars. Once we find all three, we can figure out which is the jar, which one he opened. That sounds reasonable. This way, then. Okay, but one by one. What's in that one? No. Very good for when the cows are ill, but much for us unless cooked. Nope. Don't spill that one. Just made a new batch of hydro... Hydromel. It's very full. We used it a 
There's a base for many remedies, so I'm always making more. No mistaken, Hydromel is just me. It's fun to drink, too. <laughs> Much nicer than the wine we have at supper. <coughs> nope, something different. Okay. What's this? That one's empty. So, yeah, no sound. Some choose to use the mandrake for evil arts, but these have all been cleaned, cleansed. Only Sister Gretrude handles the mandrakes. And with good reason, too. I only use them for pains that can't get me rid of any other way. Hmm, no. Okay. You like, you like this one, Andreas. It's gold. Oh, that creates the most exquisite blue ink. Didn't realize you grew it here. We have a small supply. Not for ink, though. Where e can't hold a quill as steadily as he once could, I make an ointment with woad that helps his... His what? His palsy. Probably. Nope. Bethany. Surprised to see that herb among your jars, sister. You know its uses, Andreas? Only that it's dangerous herb in the wrong hands. Indeed, Bedney can be used for terrible invocations and spells. I keep a jar because it can be a good remedy against such magic when it's used correctly. Nope. Okay. Oh yes, that reminds me. We need to make some more Tithymal salve soon. I'm not familiar with this herb. I'm not surprised. You're a healthy man, Andreas. Tithymal is used for gout and arthritis and memory problems. Father Thomas comes to get some for Sister Emily every now and then. Nope. Okay. What about this? Oh, you should take some of this before you go into the city, Zendras. It's fever. It's fever fuel. It clears the phlegm of the head quite effectively. That stuff, it's gross, but Sister Getru makes everyone at Kirsau eat it. And you've been well. And you've been well because of it. Honestly, I think we could do with a bit more of it in our meals. Ugh. Oh yes, I need to take that jar up, up to the abbey. What is it? An ointment for the abbot, made with torth. Oh, that one, it's for his scabies, I'm always making it. He uses a lot of it. <laughs> oh, okay. What about this? Mugwort. Where Matthew has a soft stomach, so we make quite a bit of it in, in two cakes for him. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, red. Not this one. Trinket foil, five leaved. Yes, that's how the plants get its name. I keep it as a paste with flour and oil to break fevers. Not the wrong button. Careful not to open the nettle, Andres. Nettle? That stuff stinks. Why keep a jar? I wouldn't be surprised if you've eaten it yourself, Casper. The dried leaves lose their sting. Whenever the horses are unwell, we mix nettle with lovage and their riders rain the next day. Nope, oh, not this one. That one's so small. That one holds poppy seeds. The seeds are potent when eaten 
to induce sleep, so we don't use them very often. I remember eating some before my eye surgery. It was woozy for a long time afterwards. Not this one. Brookline very useful against poisons. It purges the stomach so that the bad humors have no place to rest in the body. Hmm, interesting. Pick this one up. You have so much of that one. You need a lot of candela, uh, calendula to treat so many people. Its juices can expel most bad humors. Pounding, pounding the juices makes my hands sticky. Stickiness can be washed away, Sister Margreta. <coughs> Definitely pick that one up. Wouldn't work. I remember the physician laying these leaves on my brother when he had smallpox. Yes, that's one of the more common uses for a wound wart. It tries out the uh, humors back into the body, uh, no matter how they arrive in, on the skin. Yeah. Yeah, we're still working with the five humors theory of medicine. Nope, not this one. What about this one? Oh, psyllium. Don't use that one often, save for terrible fevers. Hmm, interesting. Master Moro, please shake each jar in order and I'll tell you if it makes the right sound. Okay, first this one. That, that one. Quite heavy. Let's see what's inside. Oh my! It's a lot of money. I wonder if this has anything to do with what Brother Voislav mentioned about Guy digging around the abattoir. Either way, Brother Guy was definitely hiding money from the Abbey. Oh dear, I shouldn't, I should inform Mother Luminata about this. Uh, please wait, if he killed Otto, I don't want to put anyone else in danger for good friend of him. Alright, uh, I'll give the purse to Mother Luminata to hold on to. Thank you, Sister Gertrude. God bless you both. And that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. As always, I have been Pope. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Go in peace and be and may Marx be with you.